Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day... Day 19. so hard. We are loading up, heading to World Market, where Elias and I are going to be getting gifts for one another. It's just like, uh, it's not gifts, stocking stuffers. We're getting stocking stuffers for one another. Um, we just love shopping there. Like, but I, I know what he wants. I know exactly what he wants. They just have the funnest little things there. Oh, there we go. But I broke my thumbnail. Remember how I told you when I was doing these nails that the thumbs never last? Yeah, it, it came off. So I'm going to fix that really quickly before we leave, because that stuff matters, right? Literally, everyone's riding in the car. And here I am, just gluing a nail back on. That's what you get when you marry a three. <laughs> Can't have this happening. I'm sweating. <laughs> I, I, if you guys don't know, I drive an excursion, which is literally the largest vehicle a family can own. Like, just the biggest. Other than, like, the rest of them kind of become commercial vehicles. So it's the largest family vehicle. And this parking lot is, it's nuts though. So I just almost tried to park in a spot, but one of the trucks was over the line, and I started to pull in, and I told the girls, I was like, no, I can't park here. I can't do it. We're parking somewhere else. And instantly started sweating. It's like Trader Joe's all over again. Oh, we should probably go inside. Because now Daddy's going to think he beat us. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That's if we can make it through this parking lot. Okay, so it's absolutely craziness in here. I'm going to try these. Why is there no price? Did you see price over there? No. $3.99. Look at these little freaking candles. Now I can focus. The mercury glass. I die. That's not. Mm. Okay. Pick up a couple of these because we can add these to. Can you scoot back for a second? Yes. Um, this is for sure. Auntie Ken's Prosecco and Pear. Ooh. Can I smell? Yeah. Nothing odd. Yeah. Right. Oh, you've got to um, Auntie Ken's again. Okay, so we've got three of these, but our main goal is this. We're actually supposed to be here for Daddy. Oh, and we're getting some for um, Auntie. Auntie and Auntie Kins. It's, it's very confusing because there's, oh, there's an Auntie and then there's an Auntie Kins. Auntie Mac. Okay. You don't see this. But I got this for Elias because he's been getting into whiskey recently. Oh. I got this for my sister because she always steals my lotion when she comes to, into town. A dark chocolate orange because we love dark chocolate. And we. Um, and then this is what Olivia grabbed. Right, Liv, this is you? Yes. Belgian dark chocolate Christmas trees. Oh, Daddy's gonna be all over that. That's awesome. Oh, I wanted to see if they have the... They don't have the tiny bottles anymore. Tiny bottles of what? Tiny bottles of, of Tabasco. Ooh. Yeah, grab that. Ingredients? Yeah, you were cute. All right, ingredients. Oh, this has mushrooms in it. Nope, Daddy's not gonna like it. Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm for sure getting this. My hot sauce man is gonna love sampler pack. I put that in there. Good job, thanks, kiddo. I just wish they had the tiny Tabascos. I'm so sad. Wee. Okay, so I grabbed these because y'all already know he loves his English bref breakfast, and these are like the perfect size can for one serving. Um, even though financially it makes more sense to get that size, these are cute because they'll fit in the stocking. But he is actually. Oh, he was right there. Shh. I'm grabbing beans because Daddy likes them. He was right there, so we're trying to be sneaky sneak. Okay, let's go to the next aisle. <laughs> I like your style, that was very smart. <laughs> okay, let's keep shopping. <laughs> okay, Daddy does love different spices and herb rubs. So I'm just trying to see if there's any of these that sound, no. He loves marinade kits. Hmm. I just don't think anything that's standing out. Please? No. Just one. No. Please? No. How am I supposed to get stuff for you for your stocking if you try to pick it out for yourself? I know where you dropped him. You made it. All right, I got him dark chocolate. What is this? 70% with raspberries. See if you like that. Oh. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Snuck something in for himself. No, okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, for Silas. Okay, y'all, can you find Tim? Oh, there's Tim Tams. Are there any dark chocolate Tim Tams? Can you help me look? So, Isabella just pulled out one of the things I was gonna put in their stocking stuffer and asked for it. So, I said yes, but it's going 
in the cart and she can't have it until Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, daddy loves these. Australian soft licorice. Okay. I love them too, because you can read all of it. And it's non-GMO. There you go, peanut. Oh, he's probably gonna want this too. Ugh. Oh, what is this? Wine gums? I'm getting this for my sister. I don't know if it tastes like wine, but that sounds like so much fun. Wait, I'm totally getting this. I'm happy to report that we survived. We got some decent stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Another present for Olivia. Uh, yes, you did get something sweet for Olivia, huh? Uh, I love how you snuck it by. And you caught me when I was stressed. And you're like, can we buy this? And I was like, sure. And we didn't even talk about who's paying for it. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I'll pay for it. Silas and Olivia just took the cart back. Elias has not even checked out yet. I highly doubt he got much footage, if any at all. My guess is he panicked and then didn't really record anything beyond like 45 to 90 seconds. What do you think? Agreed. Agreed. So he is going to a gun show, like an actual gun show, not just getting tickets to the gun show. And then he's going to like some sort, I don't even know what he's going to after that. So basically for the rest of the day, it's me and the kiddos. So we're gonna head home. Please don't hit that person. Okay. We're gonna head home <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna edit. The kids are gonna hang. This is, whatever's happening here is disconcerting. Yep, that's, that's it. Okay. Someone is vibing. Where is that even coming from? That's so loud. Okay, we decided to stop at Dollar General, see if there's any other stocking stuffer gifts that we can get. Thank you, <laughs> that was really loud. Um, I shouldn't be feeling the vibrations. Uh, yeah, I'm just, that can't be good for your eardrums. Oh my gosh, I sound so old. Okay, Dollar General, let's go. Whew. All right, video is uploading, should be up relatively soon. I can't feel my fingers, all I want is a hot bath right now. But I have to like feed my children dinner or something or whatever. <laughs> Um, Elias is gonna be out for probably the rest of the evening. I'm pretty sure he's eating dinner out as well. Um, and I am gonna make a fire. I may not be able to do it like my husband does, but I'm gonna try. I'm also not gonna film it unless the fire takes. Cause I, I don't, don't wanna hear judgment because he's gonna watch this back and be like, why'd you, why'd you build it like that? Look, if it's on fire, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> but I'm very cold and we have, I think right now it's like 48 degrees outside, which is awesome. I love it when it's cold outside. So we have only a few days of enjoying this until we're back in the mid 70s. So I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth and have a Christmas fire in my Christmas fireplace. I have made fire. Ha ha. That actually looks so picturesque. I cannot even. I did all right. We're not gonna talk about how long it took me to make this. Look at that, just blazing away. Fire, This the fire is blazing. Yeah, that's pretty decent. It took me a while because all the wood's wet. I forgot that it rained a little bit earlier, oh, quite a bit earlier, and so like everything's just soaked. You can probably hear the hissing of the fire, of the wood, uh, the wet wood. Hey, at least it's going. We're moving in the right direction. It looks beautiful. Now I need to figure out dinner. My toxic trait is um, I would keep Messing with a fire till the cows came home. Like, I would not stop fiddling. I kept breaking off extra kindling and putting it in there, even though it clearly doesn't need kindling anymore. That's what I was doing. Because that was an excellent use of my time instead of, you know, making food for my children. And now I don't know what to make. I'll probably do something quick, easy for Silas, because we've got bedtime coming up for him soon. And then probably something quick and easy for the girls and I. We are preparing obviously for family to come into town and we will be making a lot. I you know I said yesterday that they are coming today. They are, but they're only going to my parents' house and they're getting there at like nine o'clock tonight. Um, and she's got four littles, so they're all going there. Not littles, she's got four kids. Um, so they're all gonna go there and just probably just pass out for the night and we will see them tomorrow. We have so many eggs and we didn't even collect today. What am I going to make for dinner? I'll think about this off camera. Fish sticks. What are you watching? And for every once in a while, I mean like we watch shows together as a family uh, at night, but more often than not, we don't just let the kids have complete free reign of their screen time. Every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? Tonight's a screen night, go for it, have fun, 
Godspeed. You know what I need to do right now though? Well, I can't do too much of it while they're awake. I should probably start organizing gifts and bagging them, like putting them for who's who. They also have another bunch of these to put out somewhere. And I don't know where just yet. Maybe right there. Okay, I'm gonna leave these out where I can see them, where they don't blend in to all that other crud. Not crud, gifts. All the other gifts. And we'll go from there. Mm -mm -mm. We also have, we got disposable, my mom got disposable bowls. I have disposable plates, we have disposable cups. When you have nine extra people just coming to hang out, that's a lot of dishes for an itty bitty dishwasher. Um, I'm normally not the type to like, I don't typically use a lot of disposable stuff, but every once in a while you just gotta punt, you know, you just gotta punt and recycle. Afterwards, that's just the best we can do. So I'm probably going to use this which will eventually be our coffee bar, but I'm gonna use this as our, as our disposable setup for now. So we got little plates, got bowls. So the kids can come grab from this whenever they want to, and I don't have to worry about doing a bajillion, quadrillion dishes. It's a number, look it up. That's pretty decent for now. Um, and I put all these spares down here. The only thing I can't find is my napkin holder. We, I don't, if you've been around long enough, you know that we switched to cloth napkins like two years ago. It's been great. So I've actually had the same container of, oh my gosh, I just burned my hands taking the girls' fish sticks out and it hurts. I can feel, I feel my heartbeat. Um, I just can't find my napkin holder that goes over there. I know I moved with it for moments like this. I thought it was over there. It's not. Oh, I do have my clear plates. Hallelujah. Oh, I was thinking. Okay, great. My mind is all over the place right now. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I've actually hung these bags right here. Thank you for inspecting them, Bonnie. Do they smell okay? Do they smell good? I'm gonna go through all of these bags and hang them according to family group. And then from there, I will separate it by person. But obviously we've got quite a few bags happening here. I've got some in the back room and that I need to be doing this while Elias is gone. I might have a special Elias bag that's like off camera, just in case he decides to watch the rest of this vlog. Well, I'm gonna get you set up for hopefully a satisfying time lapse. Get you guys set up over here, a nice wide shot. Oh, and you can see the fire in the background? That's romantic. time that we wrap some gifts. This will be the girls first year officially helping. Yes, this is exciting. It's very exciting. I figured, I can't get over your haircut. <laughs> you look so old. I figured it's about time that they learned how to wrap a gift with wrapping paper, like formally. So we've got my very adult wrapping paper container. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody's got real crinkled. Are we? Um, what? Are we gonna keep these off screen so they don't see them? Oh, yes, yeah, nice. Yes, yes, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And Isabella was directed to go get mommy more wine. All right, you scoot this way. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm you scoot it. You it. scoot in a little bit. If your name is Jackson, Logan, Graceland, or Aiden, you must stop watching now. Right now. If your name is Chase, Mackenzie, uh, Rachel, Bethany, Zach, Hannah, Josh, Susie, or Jeff, you must also stop watching right now unless you want to ruin the entire Christmas spirit. But we want to show you how we are going to be wrapping some gifts. And you guys have never wrapped gifts with wrapping paper, right? No. Mm -mm. Although I think I've seen people do it. Have you seen anyone like me do it? Also, you guys should probably get something special to drink. Do we have any? Yes, Dad, Dad got, got more. Got some. Oh, yeah, go get the McDonald's. Yeah. Also, also uh, you I, are weird if you do not like eggnog. You are weird. 
Get out of here. You can use the little Christmas cups if you want to. So my claim to fame is I was taught how to wrap uh, boxed presents by someone who used to wrap the presents for Disneyland, for like the shop windows. Ooh. Does that mean that I have any skill? No. But it does mean that I might have picked up a little bit of something to not embarrass myself. In front of your kids. Oh no, I, I embarrass myself in front of you all the time. Yeah. This, this, is, this is more like a, the, the wrapping will pass the vibe check. Are you just eating tuna? Just, just. No. No. I'll never do that. Oh, Daddy texted me that he's on his way. We can, oh. we can speed wrap, right? Okay. You want to move your eggnogs? Okay. Ready? Put it in my speed wrapping. Okay. Y'all just, y'all just scoop back. Scoop back. Knee cap. Okay. Um. All right. We have our first box. What are we gonna wrap this one in? Oh, which wrapping paper? Or? Do you want to get? This one that you guys just got? Which one are we doing? It's um, like... Do you want to all save this for something different? No, you sure. want to use it? Okay. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. I'm going to have you guys get fully out of frame. Don't worry, your voices will still be here. You'll still awesome. be involved. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, this has got like a paper finish. Yep. So it's not... You don't know that. It was wrapped. You're saying yep like you felt it before. <laughs> yes. Oh, and this kind has the grid mark on the back. Mm. Is that good? I chose right. It's great. So here's how I always wrap. A present. Make sure I'm in frame enough. Thank you. I wrap it jelly side down. So this to me looks like the front, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I put it jelly side down. Let go of that, please. Thank you. And then pull the paper over till it's about three fourths of the way. And because this has the little grid marks on it, I can square it up, which is awesome. <laughs> but look how much. Do I? Do you think I need this much over here? Yeah. Because it only needs to cover what side of the box? Top. Bottom the sides. This part right here and this part right here only need to cover this side of the box and this oh, side of the box. So it's pretty small, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I could probably mm -hmm. do this, right? Mm -hmm. That looks like about enough with a little bit of overhang. So what I typically do is I then go, all right, we're going about two and a half squares. One, two, two and a half squares. We're gonna go right about three, two, two and a half. And that moment when you get the scissors to like the sweet spot where you don't have to cut anymore and they just go on their own and you're like, I'm a boss. Oh, I got stuck. I'm a boss. Oh, I'm not a boss. I'm not a boss today. Here is what we are left with. All right. I'm hoping you guys can see okay. All right, can I have the tape close to me, please? We are gonna, that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and center it on the paper, okay? And now you can either just fold it straight over or if it's not a fresh edge, you can fold it in like this. But because this is the original edge from the box, or from the start of the wrapping paper, I'm just gonna leave that just like that. And I like this wrapping paper because there isn't, uh, there aren't lines to it, so you don't have to worry about it being too perfectly lined up. So you tape that to hold that in place. All right, next, you're gonna take this and push gently against the wrapping paper. So you start to see the corners of the box really take shape, okay? Okay. And while maintaining that pressure against it, you then take this. Make sure you pull out any crinkles. And look how I'm pulling forward to get another crease right here. Yeah. Get it as fresh as possible. I cut this. This is the edge that I cut. So what should I do to it? Fold it. To give myself a what? Clean edge. So because I already pulled, I actually gave myself a nice crisp corner so I know exactly where I'm going back to. Now look, doesn't that look fresh? Why do I keep saying fresh? Whatever. <laughs> if I was being extra, I could create a loop and stick it underneath. But since this is it's not that important, it is just a little side gift, you can't really see it, right? Let's see what? Nice, right answer. Now, I'm gonna try to do this backwards. All right, I'm gonna turn it so the camera can see too. Oh, it looks, it looks like it's making those little creases yep. there. Yeah, so we're gonna go and ahead. And you fold it over, right? Yep, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and push it down like this. This is a nice paper to work with. Sometimes the cheaper papers get super crinkly and they're actually printed on, so the print, whatever is printed on them, will start to fall off. I can already tell that I'm gonna get a little, of a, little bit of a weird bump right here, so let me see if I can. This is actually a pretty decent cut over here because there's not a lot of overhang. I'll go ahead and show you right here. And this is like, this could be so boring for people who already know how to wrap presents, so if so, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> so I don't need to cut any excess off. Sometimes you do need to cut some excess off. So now, take that piece, 
and pull it in just like that. And look, I've created a nice little corner for myself, huh? Uh huh. It looks and because, hold on. And because I already taped this to the box, when I push, this box isn't sliding out this way. So now, uh, Isabel, I'm gonna have you do this corner. So, yep, okay. push it straight in. I it's go. so fascinating, but I don't know if I can replicate it. That's okay. I'll have you do one corner too. Then we do. Nope. No, not yet. Not yet. Flatten the edge just like that. Perfect. And now, this is a cut edge. So what do I need to do? Fold it. Fold it. So get a nice, clean line. Now, pull this up like this. Look at that. Ta-da! What should we put there? Tape tap. And if it's a larger box, I would also put tape on the diagonal seams as well, but it's not that large. Okay, this one, ooh, this one we got quite a bit of overhang. See how it's, it's gonna get all bunchy here? Yes. Yeah. So this is not the professional way of doing it. I did not learn this from a Disney person. I just do this. Because I'm just gonna fold it in anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? There we go. Pull that on in, flatten it. You wanna do the other side, Liv? There you go. Edge over, like that. Yep, nice and clean. I'm not mad So at now, it. We're not mad at all. we pull this as tight as we can. You can see we're a little loose, because when I pull, you see how it's kind of puckering a little bit? Yeah. Yep. It's not the end of the world. It's all good. It's because this is not quite long enough. Let me do this. To give us something to grab onto, but just long enough to cause a little bit of trouble. Oh look, now there's a little yeah. piece. We need a bow on that. Now you, yeah, you know I'm not gonna stop here. No, 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 no. Shall we time lapse you guys doing your first gifts? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's hurry up and uh, get you on yours. Look who's back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm freezing. So I'm in the fire. I'm not intending to be front and center. No. Nope. You wrapped your first present. Can I see it? Yeah, but wait. I, I need the green one. Oh, you need the. I think your leg might be on it. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Those aren't gonna stay for now. Do you just want to show me your wrapping? Let's see those corners. My beautiful corners. That looks amazing. I'm super proud of it. Sweetie, that's your first time ever wrapping a gift, at least with wrapping paper. That looks so good. And then which bow are you gonna put on it? I think you said you're gonna do the silver. I think I might do the red or the silver. Uh, excuse me, the red is already claimed because that goes so cute on that. <laughs> okay, silver. And typically you wanna put, because it's gonna go with the tag, it's gonna highlight where the tag is, you wanna put it at the top, not the bottom. <laughs> are you erupting or are you okay? <laughs> All right, ready? You wanna show us yours? Uh-huh, right. shows this. This is the one that I made for Logie. Let's see those corners. Looks incredible, kiddo. <laughs> and then, yeah, a little bow. I don't remember quite where the front or back was, so. Yeah, the nice part is, this is like all different. Are you drinking whiskey without me? No, it's eggnog. You're, that's, that's whiskey to share. Cause I only drink it with you. Well, let's drink it together. Really I would ditch the wine to have whiskey with you. I'm so excited that you're getting into whiskey. It's not even funny. What about in the middle? In the middle would be fine. I'm trying really hard not to control how you guys wrap this. <laughs> That's great. That looks great. Everything's everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> Does this look good? What? <laughs> Just imagining what you're saying to yourself on the inside. <laughs> That looks great. <laughs> what, am, what am I saying on the inside? On the inside you're going, oh gosh, it's awful. <laughs> I'm gonna redo that as soon as you go to bed. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna redo your wrapping. It looks great. That's a, that was an honest great, not not a <laughs> it looks great.
<laughs> Stop it. Yeah. All right, y'all. Time to get ready for bed. All right. Oh, uh, can you put your eggnog cups in the oh, sink, please? Oh, you do it? Oh. Go find Holly Jolly. Okay, so I completely forgot to do the Holly Jolly find. Like, my mind was off it because I was just like so excited to get everything done. But I've passed by her several times and she's got herself in a little bit of a mess. Hanged up in some Christmas lights. She must have been trying to like decorate in here or something. I for totally forgot to do the Holly Jolly fun. And I'm so sorry about that. I should have remembered. Um, it's one of our main things to do. I love doing it. Yeah, I think she might have been decorating in here and it just went hanging out like a bat. That was our Holly Jolly find. Oh no. What? They're expired. Oh, it was a story. Oh, it's the post. Okay. No, it's not. Hey, FYI. What? I'm filming, so if you could just... Thank you. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. It's a race car. Bourbon's the type of whiskey, my love. So we have the sweetest friends. Um, we have the craziest backstory of how we met them. Basically, we met them in Marietta, and they ended up moving to like 20 minutes away from us in Texas. It's crazy. 30 minutes, whatever. They're, they're relatively close. And Hannah sells um, in Marietta. She sell sold. <laughs> Just let me move on, please. <laughs> in uh, Marietta, she sold. Um, thrifted curated items and she has the most incredible shop. I'm going to go ahead and tag her down below. Uh, so whether, so if you are a uh, Waco native, please check her out. You, you will not be disappointed. She's just starting her shop up again, but she posted something in her stories the other day. And I was like, I need, I need that. I, I need it. Um, and I was like, soul, you just, you just, you just, yes, please. And then these freaking cuties, I'm going to put everything back together real quick so it looks as cute as it did for her presentation because it was really cute. This cutie sends over a gift basket for, if she does not know my soul, gift baskets, always gift baskets. First, let us appreciate the basket itself. Are you, are you serious with this? Guaranteed vintage that she thrifted somewhere. Look at the handles. I can't. And then of course she lined it with tissue paper um, and then dark chocolate, sea salt caramel chocolates inside a thrifted Christmas mug mm -hmm, that she dried oranges and put a super cute lace ribbon on. Look at the pattern on, look at the pattern on this mug. Hannah, who gave you permission? Then she threw in one of these bad boys that would look adorable in a kid's room. You kidding, look at that, look at that. Followed by a bottle of bourbon. I have never tried this before. I just tried a sip of Elias's and it's absolutely, it's delightful. It's delightful. And then she was like, yes, the mirror is sold to you. And then didn't, did, she just didn't even charge me for it. She just, she just gave this, look at this. Look at this. Try not to focus on all of the disaster in the background. So it tilts like this. Um, and then you have the ability to tighten or loosen on the sides. 
Look at the feet. Look at the detail on this. I'm so obsessed with this mirror. She has such a good eye. And the funny thing is, I genuinely thought earlier today, I was like, I should text Hannah to see if she's a gift gift, like to, to see if she's ready. I know she's a gift giver, because literally every time we host each other, like we bring each other stuff. <laughs> she always has a gift for us um, when she comes over. And I tried to reciprocate, but last time all I brought was a bottle of wine and uh, some ornaments, which you guys saw when we went over. And four dozen eggs. Oh, and four dozen eggs. <laughs> yes, but that's really not my gift, you know? It's just like we had them laying around and we needed to pawn them off on somebody. So now, <laughs> I almost texted her earlier to be like, are we doing Christmas gifts? Because if so, I would like to be prepared. And then Elias sees her husband, Derek, at the gun show earlier and like, that's what, that's what comes home. That's what I have to compete with. I know it's not a competition, but now I have to put something together for them. And I don't, I don't, I love gift baskets. I will rise to the occasion, I will. I just need to figure out how am I supposed to stop? How am I supposed to top thrifted, curated, perfect finds? You don't. You don't. You don't top that. Which... It's on. Next up, we are. I'm gonna start working on the gifts for um, some of the adult family members. We decided that we'd do something pretty. We'd do the same thing for multiple sets of people simply because um, one, they either live far or they're traveling here. So it has to be small, it has to be compact, but we also wanted it to have meaning. And Target had all of these different tins available. So they had this one, which I bought an extra one of just for myself because it looks vintage and I love it. <laughs> uh, then they had Santa Claus one, they had a snowflake one and they have this one that the tin is, the bottom part's right over here with the little stripey base, super cute. I think they were $4 each. This is the kind of stuff that I would keep for years to come. This is the kind of stuff that my mom keeps. This is the kind of stuff that like last minute if you're just like, oh no, I have to give it a, a, I have to give a gift and I don't know what to wrap it in. If you wanna part with it, you can. I love giving gifts and stuff like this because it's a cute container and it's reusable and if it were me, I would keep it. So I have five of these to put together. Put together, it's not that complicated. Um, again, I repeat, if your name is Hannah or Josh or Rachel or Bep or Zach or Susie or Jeff or Mackenzie or Chase, this is your opportunity to leave. Okay, bye. Um, crinkle paper, absolute, absolute fave. So I'll probably put that in there. Then we have a couple iterations of this gift. But inside we have a super cute candle. Um, love it when they come with a cork top and I would totally be the crazy person that would reuse this jar because I love it. This actually reminds me of some of my antique tobacco jars that I have. Um, same vibe, they're just a little bit shorter. Um, so there's that to go in there. I should probably take the price tag off the bottom. <laughs> okay. And then for some, not all, but for some of them we have this hearth and hand ornament but it's really just a picture frame that you can put on the tree. So cute. So we are going to get, Elias is currently looking for a plug for my Instax printer. So it's the same concept as an Instax camera, but it's a printer so I can actually print it from an app on my phone. So we're gonna find photos on their Instagram, on their Facebook, what they've sent us, whatever, and put them in these. Um, and then an Uber Eats gift card because sometimes you just don't wanna cook or you wanna have a date night at home. Or, you know, it just, we didn't want it to be like, here's a specific restaurant that you have to go to. So instead we have that. So what I plan on doing is grabbing a healthy portion. No, no matter what you do, wherever you use this stuff, you will end up being, <laughs> being a mess. A healthy portion of the crinkle paper. Get that on in there. Most of these will be shipped. So it's not gonna be in the same position. If I wanted to be super extra, or just like a, a tish extra, I would use glue dots on the back of some of these to hold them in place. But I'm not going to, only because I don't know where my glue dots are. And I'm gonna go ahead and place the heaviest item right in the center. There's no cute way of doing it. <sighs> Gift baskets, I want it to be curated, but I don't know if this is gonna be possible. I might just have to put it in practically but I want it to look cute. All right, 
gift card to the base. Really sink it on in there. So they open the gift and they're like, oh, a candle in a frame, cute. But then if they dig further, if they haven't lost hope, they'll find there's a much larger treat that awaits them. We'll do this and then this, and I will probably do some sort of tissue paper between the two of these, because obviously glass on glass when you're shipping, not a great plan. But I'm still waiting for the plug for my Instax camera, so. What I'll probably do now is I will just pre-fill a lot of these with um, the crinkle paper. So I have the picture that I want to print. I've got my little Instax Share SP1. And now I'm gonna hit print. What? Could not connect. Huh. This printer is a little bit old. <laughs> they must have come out with several different iterations since then. So what you're saying is you need a newer Instax printer. Given the fact that I use this like once every two years, I think I'm good. Okay. Unless you're looking for last minute gift, then sure. Yeah. Okay. Great, I finally got it to work. <laughs> and you don't have to shake these here. That image, nope, not that image. That image will end up on here. I hope these fit. Do you have one of the uh, ornaments handy? Mm -hmm. Will you go get one, please? I'll tell you what, I'll go get one. You find me other photos that we can print up. Okay. A moment of truth, because everything has hinged on these fitting inside of these frames. Oh, it kind of, it kind of barely fits. Eh? Well, that's perfect. That works. Might need more air. Shh, just enjoy this moment with me. Look, that is freaking cute. I'm so glad we saved one of these for us. Not, not saved one, but intentionally purchased an extra one just for us. I love these because these two just got engaged. How fun is that photo? When I tell you that 2021 was the year of weddings for this family, <laughs> and then they just got engaged. They just, oh, but look how cute. Is it gonna focus? It's not well developed yet, but Ren and Ivy are the stinking cutest and their gift is right over there. And Elias told me, he told me that he wants to be the one to wrap it. And I was like, I would, I would also like, but what if he do? I just wanna make sure he does a good job. Those super cute faces, I love so much. Like, why does this gift, the idea of putting a cute photo, oh, in a frame like this, just bring me the utmost joy. Because you could change it out every single year, like, if you want to, and you could keep the photo, or you could put a new photo in it, or you could print one, you can cut it out, and you could just, Run, do not walk, run to Target and grab some of these because they just make the most sentimental sweet gifts. So on top of the, like obviously gift cards are not like, we are giving Uber Eats specifically because we, we know that each and every one of these family members sometimes just deserves a night at home where they don't wanna cook and they just get a break and we wanna give them that opportunity. And the candle is just because it's cute and I love the container, but these photos might be my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave the vlog here because I have got some serious cleaning up to do and we've probably had two if not three time lapses in this video already. Thank you so much for watching. Um, day 19. Wow, I can't believe we're almost done, guys. This has been so fun. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.